In this section, we are going to talk about the reasons behind growth in popularity of analytics. Though analytics is not a new field, it has shot up in popularity in the last decade or so. There are three main reasons behind this phenomenal shift in businesses towards analytics and reliance on data over intuition. The first reason is that there is a lot more data now than there used to be. 1.2 trillion gigabytes of data was produced in 2010 and it will double in the next 18 months and double again in the 18 months after that and so on. A recent study by IBM suggested that 90% of the world's data has been generated in the last two years. This just goes to show how fast the torrent of data is sweeping us. However much data there is in the world now, 90% of that has been generated in the last two years only. And if we look at six months from now, whatever data there will be in this world, 90% of that would have been generated in the last two years. So this just goes to show how much data is being produced and how fast the production of data is increasing. We've already seen examples of businesses that have gigantic databases, businesses like Walmart, which handle millions of customer transactions every day, or businesses like Google, which process millions of gigabytes of information every hour. All of that goes to show how much data is being produced in the world nowadays. The second reason why analytics is becoming so popular is that not only is more data being produced, but a lot more data is being collected and stored now. Storage costs have gone down at an astonishing pace in the last two decades. In 1990, the cost of storing one gigabyte of data was around $9,000. In 2010, this has come down to a mere 8 cents. Costs have gone down by more than 100,000 times in the last 20 years. Now this is what has really fueled the growth in analytics, allowing businesses to store gigantic amounts of information at a very reasonable cost. So we've seen two reasons. First is that more data is being produced now than ever before. Second, more data is also being stored. And since more data is being produced and stored, we also have analytical tools that have become more user friendly and better at dealing with large data. With faster processing power and more sophisticated tools, users are able to sift through larger amounts of data and apply complex statistical techniques to draw insights, enabling them to make better decisions on the fly. So in fact, a virtuous circle that we've gone into where more data is being produced, more data is being stored, more data is being analyzed by businesses using better tools and better statistical techniques and all of these factors are leading to better predictions being made. Better predictions mean better results and hence the growing popularity of analytics in business. So this in short is the reason why analytics is becoming more popular now than ever before. More data being produced, more data being stored and more data being analyzed using better tools. All of this leading to better predictions being made, which means that the confidence in the predictions made through analysis is increasing, which means that the adoption of analytics is increasing in businesses. And as the adoption increases, businesses find more and more data that they can produce and store so that that can be analyzed later on. So hence this whole circle of growth of analytics.